Denise Jenkins has arrived. Janie. Yeah. You, you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. How you doing this man? I'm good. What about you? I'm good. You saw me on the Stella Watch. No, I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it 100. Yeah, I did some church announcements. Everybody loved that hat I had on. I did. You had a good hat. Yeah, I had a good one on. It looked like a diving board. Oh. Yeah, my I had God. that baby cock to the side. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. I'll get my grandbaby to take it down there and get a picture developed hey, and bring it over there hey, to you. Send me a picture of that. I sure will. Here's our church announcement. This man and govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. The pastor is asking that any member who can get him some Super Bowl tickets <laughs> will not have to pay tithes for the next six months. Wait a minute. And he will still make sure that you get accepted in the heaven if you die before the end. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat that one. You can't beat God's giving. No matter how much you try, you can't beat God's giving. No matter how you try. And we also need to pray for Mother Luella Turnipseed, who just turned 98 on last week. And we need to pray for her because she had been hearing about Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday and had got a bus ticket to Atlanta. To take care, to take a cake and some balloons to drop off at his mama house for him because she thought they was having a party. But she didn't know that he had passed back in 1968. Now she's all upset and can't and can't stop crying because she missed his film. <laughs> How she didn't know Dr. King was there, she must know. Mm. <laughs> Mine is going bad. <laughs> Please pray for Mother Luella Turnip Seed. Oh, Lord. Condolences to Deacon Leroy Stewart Sr. and his wife Barbara. Mm-hmm. And uh, their son Leroy Jr. passed on Sunday night. And he was 27. And his mama said he was never real smart. Mm hmm <laughs> he had some friends over at his baby mama's house to watch the football game and they was playing with guns and he held up a 9 millimeter to his face and bet everybody $50 <laughs> that he could shoot straight through his afro without hurting himself and his last words was hey watch this <laughs> And that was it, Janie. <laughs> I said, oh, you gone. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.